A huge Las Vegas casino hotel is closing its doors completely, at least for a bit. The bust and now not operating Las Vegas monorail may be starting up again in May, but it's all to do with a thing called Concrete World, whatever that is, but we'll discuss that. And I need your help. I'm planning a video on Las Vegas money saving tips, and I want to know if you've got any. So together we can be dreaming of Las Vegas. Hi, I'm Scott. I'm a Las Vegas blogger based here in Harrogate in the United Kingdom and uh, I've actually done something really radical. I've actually slightly tried to script this video, which uh, regular viewers, and I know there's a couple, might find that to be a little bit uplifting. Because you actually, actually might, uh, I might make a bit of sense today, although I wouldn't guarantee it. So the Palazzo is closing its hotel tower for a bit. It's been apparently not accepting reservations for midweek since July, but now it's closing up completely. At least it's closing the hotel completely. The restaurant, uh, the casino, the shops, and the um, uh, the parking garage, if that's significant, the parking garage is uh, is definitely staying open. The casino is also staying open, but it is having some reduced table games, and uh, it's having some slightly reduced hours apparently. So I've never known a Las Vegas casino close at any time during the course of the evening. I don't know if that's going to be the case. But it's interesting because the uh, they result uh, they released a couple of figures as well. So. Uh, according to the Las Vegas Review Journal, which is owned by the same uh, family that owns the, the Venetian and the Palazzo, uh, which is a, a guy called Sheldon, Sheldon Adelson. Uh, it has got some, some actually decent figures. Now, Sheldon Adelson um, reported in, in a recent earnings call that the weekend occupancy was as high as 70%, which I think is pretty, pretty impressive, really. 70% um, in the middle of a pandemic, I think, is pretty decent. Um, but saying that uh, it, it, I'm guessing an awful lot lower during the course of the weekend. Now, out of interest, the, the strip occupancy at the minute is 64% uh, at the weekend and 39% uh, at the week uh, during the, during the week, which I think is actually pretty good. I think that's very very decent, uh, but um, obviously not good enough to keep these massive massive casinos open fully now. Let me know what you think. If you're a strip person, where are you looking forward to staying? Where do you stay? Where have you stayed? Now, if you think about the strip, where have I stayed? I've stayed, uh, where have I stayed? The staff at the bottom, Luxor, Excalibur, New York, New York, Tropicana, MGM, wow. And then right at the other end, Stratosphere, SLS, although uh, Sahara, I guess we should be calling that. Uh, Riviera, when that was there, do you remember Riviera? Uh, have, have you ever stayed at Riviera? Let me know if you're missing it. It was, wasn't, when I stayed, I stayed there were probably only about five, five years before it closed. It wasn't at, at its very best at that point. If you've stayed at the Riviera and miss it, then do let us know. Now, every so often I have a look at, at the internet and planning for these vlogs and have a little look at what, uh, the, what the news stories are. And pretty much every single time it says that there's been a shooting somewhere or a, some sort of knife attack, which is not really what I'm gonna talk about on this particular vlog. There was an interesting one though uh, I read about today there was actually gunfire heard at Treasure, Treasure Island, and certain parts of the hotel had to be um, had to be abandoned for a few hours during the course of the night, which is certainly not a great place to uh, to be. But what I want to talk about is the monorail. Now, the monorail is uh, closed at the minute; it went bust for a while. It was then bought by the Convention Visitor Center, the, the guys that run the Las Vegas Convention Center. By the way, that has just opened a new wing, nine hundred and eighty million dollars. Just to stand idle for a bit that must be uh, a bit of a pain but uh, i'm going to talk a little bit about uh, the fact that it might be opening a little bit in a little bit and they're talking about may now the reason why it might be may is because in june there is a convention called concrete world now i read up about concrete world because i once um, actually saw a little bit of concrete world when i was there in january it's usually a convention that happens in january but it's happening in may this time now concrete world attracts 50,000 people to the las vegas convention center now, it might sound a bit nerdy, Concrete World, but imagine 50,000 people midweek, all with probably expenses in their pocket, all after having had a, a tiring day looking at, at concrete items, then allowed to go to, into the buffets and into the, uh, the, the various gambling 
uh, facilities on the strip. Now put it into perspective, 50,000 people, that's the equivalent of about a dozen strip hotel properties. You know, it's big, big business. And as I said, it's all, all midweek. So what happens at Concrete World? As I said, 50,000 guests. It's been going since 1975. 1,200 exhibitors. They have something called Bricklayer of the Year, which is a massive thing, where someone tries to lay bricks and have competitions so you can lay the most bricks in a certain amount of time. The winner last time did it with apparently 760. And wow, what, a, what an incredible, uh, what an incredible uh, thing to happen. Uh, 50,000 people arrive. So, so that's why the monorail is going to be opening, because if you imagine, there's going to be 50,000 people discharging themselves at the convention centre, and the monorail will be a massive, massive help to get them back to their hotel properties if they happen to be staying somewhere, I guess, east of the Strip, which is only going to be uh, what, the monorail, uh, what the monorail can do, really. So I've got a few pictures coming up. You've seen a few pictures as we've been doing it. I'm going to show you its logo. This is the Concrete World logo. Isn't that exciting? But anyway, hopefully the monorail will be opening soon. Wouldn't that be great? And finally, I am planning a video on, uh, on the five best Las Vegas money saving tips. So what I've got so far is avoid the weekend, try and limit the amount of time you spend on the strip, maybe use supermarkets for snacks and water and that sort of thing. Um, Go for a road trip to avoid being on the strip and in Vegas during the course of weekends. Um, and I've got a bonus one, which Elizabeth has recorded for me, about having water with meals, which I might have to use that one if you can't give me some tips. So let me know in the comments below if you've got any money-saving Las Vegas tips. That would be really, really helpful. And then I will incorporate it into the video. So that's it for now. Please hit that subscribe button if this has been of use to you. Please hit like and uh, that notification bell will continue, will make uh, content continue to come into your inbox on a regular basis. Thank you very much, and I'll see you again soon.